Oh wow, this is surprisingly powerful. Hello everybody. Look what I've built this time. I've made this fan for my girlfriend because she's hot. This is a portable USB fan made from a normal 120mm computer fan and a 3D printed case and uh, some other components which I will show you later. As you can see it has an integrated USB cable which uh, tucks away nicely for easy transport. So you can plug it into any battery bank and take it with you anywhere. No more cooling yourself with a newspaper. Also it has a foldable stand so it can be used as a desk fan as well. With a USB extension cable such as this one you can plug it in into your phone charger and just uh, put it on your desk or nightstand. This way the air will come only to you and not bother the colleagues around you who are uh, little sensitive flowers and don't want the AC on, Stacy. I've actually angled the stand so it will blow directly on my face. And the big plus is that uh, this computer fan, it's also very silent. And look how easy it is to use. Just plug it in into a USB port such as a power bank and it's on. You can also plug it in into the USB port of your laptop. Nothing else to do, just orient it to you and you have fresh air. If you like this project, please subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos like this one. And of course the fan also sits upright if you want to put it on a nightstand, let's say. And when you're done, you simply disconnect it, put the USB cable into its spot and then fold back the stand and now it can fit in any bag or backpack. I've also downloaded some fan grills from uh, Thingiverse to protect the fan blades and uh, your fingers. Okay, so let me show you how I've built it. Of course, you need a fan. It's a 120mm PWM Arctic fan. I had this just uh, lying around. You can use whatever fan you have. It doesn't matter if it's PWM or not. Because I don't want to cut the fan cables. I will use this 3-pin fan connector which I also had lying around. Not all 3 pins are needed, but only 2. The ground one and the 12 volts one. Which in my case are the black and the red one respectively. If you want to cut the fan wires, usually the yellow cable is the 12 volts and the black one is uh, the ground. Next what you will need is a boost converter to take the 5 volts of the USB port and amplify it to the 12 volts for the fan. This one is a bit overkill and I've used it uh, just because, you guessed it, I had it lying around. And you'll also need a short cable which, uh, guess what, I had many of them lying around. Then I've 3D printed this enclosure to hold the electronics. It's designed in SOLIDWORKS and uh, 3D printed in PLA. As you can see it has the channel for the USB cable. And then the end of the cable will go into the enclosure through a hole at the end of the channel. The fan will slit like this into the enclosure and the bottom of the fan will actually be the top of the enclosure. Then the fan will be secured to the enclosure with the regular fan screws that came in the fan box. These are the designs of the fan enclosure and the stand. Let me know if you are interested in the sharing them with you. And this is the final assembly. Speaking of assembly, let's put everything together. The only tools needed to assemble the fan is a power bank and a multimeter to set up the boost converter voltage and a screwdriver for the screws. There is no soldering involved. The USB cable fits like this. And now I will connect the wires to the input of the boost converter. Of course you can do this easier before routing the USB cable through the hole of the enclosure but uh, hey I like to complicate my life. So now I connect the battery and I will set the output voltage to 12 volts. Perfect. Well, we are almost done. Now to the output of the boost converter, connect the fan wires. And if I connect the USB power bank again, we have liftoff. Okay, before assembling everything, I've actually made a knot on the USB wires. This way, if you pull on the USB cable, the connections will not be under tension. 
And now everything should fit snugly in here. Oh wait, the boost converter should be the other way around. Check this out, still plenty of room inside. And now the fan will just slide on top. But before that I will tidy up the cables with some electrical tape. Just like this. Now we line the holes for the screws and we screw everything together. Just make sure you don't tighten the screws too much, the 3D printed PLA is quite brittle and it might crack. And this is it. Just like that, in 10 minutes of work, you have a powerful but silent portable fan. I've also 3D printed this grill and uh, I've actually took a hair dryer here where the USB plug fits and heated up the plastic a little to make it form better around the shape of the USB plug and not be so tight. And look how nicely it works now. I've also heated up the grill and pressed it down to be flush with the profile of the fan. From this angle you can see better what I mean, you see, now it fits perfectly. And like I said, the USB cable is so easy to remove now, just with one finger. And it's easily removable even if it's covered up by the stand. Which, uh, by the way, I wanted to make it like this, so you couldn't see the USB plug from the side of the fan. So, this is it. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and share it with your friends. And please subscribe. See ya!